Hey, what's up? You've guessed it. We're back in the Land Cruiser again, uh, doing some work to it today. I'm going to be detailing it, cleaning it up real nice. And something that is driving me insane and that I need to get fixed is this dash. So as you can see, it is all scratched up. This is peeling and it's just, it's really bothering me. So my plan here is to peel this off and just leave it as this flat black. Now I couldn't find a silver to kind of flow and match with this, but I figured if I go with a flat black, it will look good. So we're going to try that. We'll see how it looks. If it turns out hideous, uh, then we'll go a different route. Uh, but that's the plan for now. So first, let's get this out of here. So to help you get this removed, it's actually really simple, but you want to move this to neutral and this to neutral as well to give you that space. Actually, you probably want to just remove this knob here. So let's get rid of that. You need your keys, the e-brake on, put it in neutral. Go ahead and put this in neutral. And we're going to untwist this. So that's off. Now be careful not to, once you get this lifted, to just yank away. You're going to have to unplug these things. And the last thing you need is to rip the wires out of these things and cause yourself more headache. So be careful. So we should be able to kind of reach in here and kind of start pulling up. There you go. So you got plug there and you got your seating plug. So we're going to have to get underneath there and make sure that we clear those out. There we go. Ah, there we go. All right, then we just have one more down here. All right. And there you have it. It's out. So this comes in all one piece in the O4s, or probably the O3 pluses, I think, is when they change it up a little bit. So this is nice because it's uh, it's real filthy in there. Uh, I'm going to clean up all that, try to get this looking really nice and pretty. Look at that. Ooh. So yeah, we're going to clean this up, make this nice and pretty. Cool. Let's get to uh, prepping and painting that thing there. So before we get painting and sanding and all that fun stuff, we need to remove, so we need to remove these first, this one as well. And then I'm gonna try to remove this because it kind of shifts around, which is not gonna be good for painting. And then we'll have to just tape this off probably. If you guys look at the tabs that are in there, you'll see that you wanna kind of move it to where it's up and then this way over to where you can kind of push those tabs out and get this piece out. As always with any plastic pieces, you, know, you want to be a little careful. So it makes me nervous doing this, but if we can slide it up, over, should be able to slide it out like that. Okay, that was good. And look how nasty that is under there. Gross. It's gonna be on each side here, there's gonna be a little piece. You squeeze it, squeeze and kind of push at the same time, and then that will pop out. That is gross. Can you guys see that? Look at all that gunk underneath there. It's the same thing for these as well. So squeeze and give a little push, be gentle with it. So what I'll probably do is I'll take these three screws out as well, which I think will just allow me to take the cup holders off and kind of maybe paint them separately. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. All right, and just keep those in a place where you won't forget them. Best place is to put them back. Definitely need to work on this piece with that big old gash in it. But let's uh, clean this. We're going to use some uh, dish soap, get it nice and clean, and then we'll dry it real good. And then we'll probably do a little, maybe a light wet sand on it and then hit it with some uh, steel wool to kind of smooth it out a little bit and then get to painting. And get that piece out too. I'm a big fan of just using whatever you really have laying around if you have the right stuff laying around. I have some 800 grit wet sandpaper, so I'm gonna go ahead and hit it with that a little bit. This is what sanding looks like, and this is what I'm gonna do all over it. Okay, I'm gonna keep doing that. Triple zero grade steel wool. Wait, quad zero grade steel wool. That's, yeah, four zeros. All right, so once you're done with that, you wanna get rid of any contaminants. So I'm gonna take some rubbing alcohol, clean it all off real good, and then I'm going to tape it off and we're gonna paint it, finally. A lot of steps, but it's all in the prep. Okay, the prep is the most important part. Look at all that crap that's coming off. Isn't that so satisfying? So yeah, taped it up, I overlapped it, took a razor blade to the inside edge and just followed it around and got my nice perfect cut. Okay, so I just realized that you can safely get the leather boot out. So yeah, that's out now. Be gentle with it, kind of squeeze it around these little clips here. There, so now we don't gotta worry about taping that off. We're ready for paint, guys. We're ready for paint. It's time. Please disregard the messy garage. I've been a bit busy. Oh, so this is what I'm gonna be using. Dupli colors vinyl fabric interior spray. So make sure you wear a respirator for protection and uh, get to spraying. Also, throughout cleaning this, uh, throughout spraying, you wanna make sure that you clean the nozzle off a little bit so that way it's always fresh.
All right guys, so it's been about a day and I let everything dry. So after I peeled this off, I came to the conclusion that I did want to go ahead and paint this area a gloss black. So as you can see, the flat black surface looks really, really good. So now I'm gonna take this section off, have this section sanded and prepped, as well as the cup holder. All right, so you can see the cup holder has a big gash in it from when it's flipped up, it's rubbing against the thing. So I'm gonna try to do something to fix that so it doesn't happen in the future. But yeah, I'm gonna sand this down and hopefully get rid of that and paint it just the same uh, gloss. All right, and this is what I'm gonna be painting with. Okay, so I got this right here, which is what I used already, uh, but this one's just the gloss. And then I got this. This will help with it adhering to the plastic and hopefully keep it from flaking off, chipping off, and so forth. So obviously I taped over these edges just like I did previously, sunk them down in there. I took the opposite end of the razor blade and then just went around the edges to make sure it's seated in there really nice. That way no paint leaks through, just like that. So yeah, let's keep going. Okay, so to try to help get this giant scratch out, I did pick up this like small dent repair kit, but it seems like it has the right amount of grits uh, to kind of get to a nice smooth surface. So we're gonna roughen it up a little bit, try to smooth it down, and hopefully Hopefully we can get rid of that big gouge in there. Let's see. Well, I'd say that kit worked pretty good. The scratch is pretty much gone. I faintly, faintly see something there, but it's very, very smooth. And I'm hoping once it paints, you won't even see it. Cool. So enough talking, let's get to painting. All right, so day three of trying to get these interior pieces done up nice. Now this came out like a nice color and everything. However, when I did some sanding, I clearly made some deeper scratches and they are showing. I don't know if you guys can see that. So what I'm gonna try to do before I try to repaint this is I'm gonna try to buff it. If it doesn't work and I can still see the scratches and everything, then I'll go ahead and clean this product stuff off, sand it down again and repaint it. As far as the other piece goes, for one, it got this like hazy discoloration in it. And for two, something landed in it and totally screwed up the paint. So that sucks. But I'm gonna go ahead and sand this piece down as well, uh, just because I have to get that imperfection out to kind of just smooth it out again. And then I'm gonna repaint it. Dude, that's pretty impressive. <sighs> I don't know. I'm not very satisfied. I'm a bit of a perfectionist and uh, it's not quite perfect. I think unfortunately I'm gonna have to repaint this one. All right guys, so this piece, I smoothed it out, sanded it down, tried to get rid of the imperfection there. And I'm really hoping it works this time. Wish me luck. All right guys, so here we are. Where I left you off, I was painting. So I ended up painting an entire can. I used an entire can on both of these pieces and went on pretty thick. So what I noticed as I was painting, as I showed you guys, is I was getting some kind of gray areas. It was kind of starting to turn gray and not really black and shiny like I wanted it to. However, I noticed if I kept going and like waiting a minute in between each coat, it started to go away and it was less and less until it finally was a nice all kind of glossy black finish. Now these are really nice and glossy right now because I just hit it with this VSS swirl scratch remover from Chemical Guys. And look at how nice they came out just by doing that. Now I still have to uh, clean them off. There's still some markings on them. But I mean, look at that. That is really, really nice. Look at this piece. Still got to wipe it down a little bit more, but I just, I literally just got done doing that. And I'm not going to completely wipe them off yet because I'm going to hit them with this butter wet wax and see how they look after that. Look at that shine, guys. Wow. Loving this. This is gonna look so good. <gasps> no way, dude. Look at this. All right, I'm gonna have to um, stand by. I'm gonna take a razor blade to it to ensure that I get separation here. All right, so I took my razor blade, very carefully went around the edges once again. Let's uh, try peeling this off again, see what happens. Okay, so one mistake I made, which was stupid and I should have thought of it, was leaving the tape on while everything dried. As soon as I was done spraying this, I should have peeled the tape off and everything and let it dry that way. Instead, I let it dry over the tape, uh, which left some tape behind, which gave me some problems on the corners and the edges here. However, I did clean those up pretty decently. It also left some kind of markings on the paint here. I cleaned it off, I tried scrubbing it, it's not really coming off. So what I'm gonna do is I end up taping this area off again and painting another coat of the flat black on here. Change of plans, I'm not gonna repaint this because for one, I just don't wanna mess with paint anymore. And for two, 
suit, I just ended up waxing it and that was able to get rid of any kind of imperfections that were in there. So now we just have to paint this outer rim here, which was a pain in the butt. Let me tell you why. I'm sorry if you hear some uh, wild kids in the background. I live in a neighborhood. So this piece here was chrome plated. I would have left it alone if it was fine, like if the chrome was fine, but it was peeling already. So I needed to peel it off and the peeling off process was a headache. So essentially I had to use a razor blade and carefully peel all of this off. Even using a razor blade, I was digging in a little bit too. So it was, it was really, really a pain in the ass. Yeah, just a heads up if you have to peel it off. It can be done, but it's going to suck. For now, I'm gonna sand this down a little bit. It needs to be touched up a little bit. Um, sand it down a little bit and paint it. All right guys, so since I decided to go with a gloss black down here and here for the cup holders, I'm gonna go ahead and take these out and paint those as well. So I'm gonna show you how to do that real quick. If they're really easy, they pop out. So just be gentle with it and you'll get them out. It's gonna kind of pull out towards you. And there you go, that one's out. So you just be careful here. You have all your plugs there. So I'm gonna unplug it from here first. All right, so since this side is being a little bit more difficult, I got a prying tool. It's gonna try to use to help me out here. I have taken this one off before, so that's probably why it was a little easier. Enough to get in there. There we go. All right, and same thing. Unplug this one here. And there you go. So let's start taking this piece apart. Now it looks like there's just two tabs here and then two tabs here. This one's already broken, so that's cool. There we go. Okay, and then there's your vent. So it looks to me like if you just remove this small little Phillips head here, you should be able to get this out. Okay, so I figured it out. So down here, there's these two little notches here. Well, if you push those in, you'll be able to slide this out. However, they're brittle and they look like they both broke, but I'm okay with that because once you put it back in, you screw it back in and it should be just fine. There should be no issue there. And now we have our blank slate. Perfect. Let's get that other one apart. All right guys, and for this one, it's going to be the exact same thing. Those tabs here and here, and then same here, those screws. You just need to remove this one and push those two tabs in, and you'll be good to go. This piece really isn't too bad, or these pieces really aren't too bad. And yeah, I'm hoping I could just scuff up the surface and get a good solid adhesion uh, to these pieces without having to go too far as far as deep sanding it and everything like that. So let's hope this works. All right, they're all scuffed up. It's time to clean them up and let's paint them. Hey guys, check this out. Cool, huh? I'm, I'm sorry, that was bad. Okay, continue. Taped off all the tabs on the inside there because I didn't want to really get paint on those because if you get those too thick, you probably have a harder time sliding it and locking it back in place when you put it back together. So I don't want to get paint on those. I have a brand new full fresh can of the vinyl fabric spray. I'm gonna go to town on these. All right, so we're finally getting there. Look at these pieces. They look really, really good, nice and shiny. This VSS scratch and swirl remover plus polish has really been the best thing that has worked on these pieces. Um, so I highly recommend maybe picking this up as your uh, product to uh, buff and shine these out once you're done. But anyways, I'm getting ready to finally put this car back together. And then I noticed something. I put the vent back in here and then I noticed that the vent switch, that little piece right there was the old color. So that's gonna look a little silly. It's gonna look a little funny and it's gonna bother me. So I need to paint these too. Luckily, the paint dries fast and it shouldn't take too long. We'll be able to put these things back in the car and finally be done with this project. So I was going back and forth a little bit. Should I do a gloss on this or should I just do the flat black? I'm gonna go ahead and do the flat black because I have a little bit of extra of that. Then I'll take a small paintbrush and paint a white line there where the old one used to be. You wanna make sure you tape up uh, and cover up the mechanism. You don't wanna get any paint in kind of the mechanism that's back here. Uh, you don't wanna get paint in the vents or anything like that. So make sure you tape it up good. Uh, last time painting for this project. We're gonna clean these up with some Q-tips and just some uh, rubbing alcohol. Look at that. All right, just gonna do that for the rest of them. Get them all nice and cleaned up and we'll pop them back in. All right, the pieces are all put together. It's just gonna be put in place. So we're gonna do that now and then we'll give you guys the final reveal. Whew, I'm stoked. This is, I think this is gonna look amazing. Here we go.
guys, there it is. What do you think? I think it looks amazing. It looks so much better than it did before. Fantastic. And real quick, when this would come up, it would rub on the back here. Before I put it in, I did sand this area to smooth it out. That way, hopefully, we can avoid it digging into this piece again. All right, guys, that's it. I love it. I'm stoked on it. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video and hopefully it helps you out if you decide to do this project for yourself. If you got any questions about the process, leave them down below in the comment section. Don't forget to smash that like button and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. I just bought a new way. Spend a couple thousand just to cruise it. Shawty said she love me but it's fresh and never prove it. I never tell her but I put it in the music. Well that's okay. All I wanna do is make the best of my whole day. Thank the Lord up above. Get the cream on the side. Make you laugh to know it. That's the stuff that I love. La, la, da, da, da.